in the heart of the world's largest democracy, there lies a story of extraordinary valor, amazing genius and dedication. A story that binds the soul of India with the highest civilian honor bestowed upon its sons and daughters. Namaste and welcome to Life Beyond Trends, where we journey through the legacy of this prestigious accolade and uncover the tales of those who have shaped the destiny of a nation. The Bharat Ratna, translating to Jewel of India, is a recognition to India's rich culture, science, arts and public service. Bharat Ratna has stirred immense pride and a bit of controversy through the years. India, a land of diversity, history and cultural richness, has always had its share of heroes. Today, we embark on an extraordinary voyage through time and legacy. Stay tuned as we unravel the essence of excellence, service and unparalleled contribution to India and beyond. Subscribe, like and hit the bell icon to not miss out on any chapter of this incredible journey. Let the journey begin. Introduced on January 2, 1954, the Bharat Ratna was envisaged as the highest civilian honor in India, recognizing individuals for their exceptional service to the nation. Initially, it celebrated achievements exclusively in the arts, literature, science, and public services. However, this beacon of honor evolved over time. It expanded its horizon to include any field of human endeavor, acknowledging that greatness knows no bounds and that heroes can emerge from any walk of life. The journey of the Bharat Ratna has not been without its controversies. Briefly suspended for political reasons, it faced debates and legal battles, only to emerge stronger, reinstating its place in the heart of India. From freedom fighters who laid down their lives for India's independence to acclaimed scientists who pushed the frontiers of human knowledge, the Bharat Ratna celebrates the luminaries who have been India's brightest gems. The honor of the Bharat Ratna comes with its unique set of entitlements. Awardees receive a medallion and a miniature for personal wear, a sanad signed by the President of India, acknowledging their outstanding contribution to the nation. But the recognition extends beyond mere symbols. Awardees are treated as state guests within India facilitated by Indian missions abroad, entitled to a diplomatic passport, and placed seventh in the Indian order of precedence. Moreover, they enjoy concessional fares on Air India, India's flag carrier, ensuring their journey, much like their legacy, is carried with honor and dignity. Let's travel back in time to 1954. The first recipients were C. Raj Gopalachari, Dr. Sir Vapul Lee Radhakrishnan, and C. V. Raman. C. Raj Gopalachari held the prestigious position of being independent India's final Governor General, significantly influencing the country's shift from being under British rule to becoming a self reliant republic. He was the brain behind the Swatantra Party, pushing forward the agenda of economic freedom and championing for the principles of the free market during a period when India was veering towards socialism. Raj Gopal Achari was also known for his literary prowess, notably for rendering India's grand epics into English, making these stories more accessible to a broader audience. In recognition of his myriad contributions to the country, he was honored with the Bharat Ratna, the most prestigious civilian award in India, in 1954. Dr. Sir Vapul Lee Radhakrishnan was highly regarded as a philosopher, academic luminary, and a political figure who served as India's second president and the first vice president. This scholarship in philosophy and comparative religion was pivotal in bridging the gap between Eastern and Western philosophical traditions. To commemorate his contributions to the realm of education and knowledge, his birthday, September 5th, is celebrated as Teacher's Day across India. The Bharat Ratna was conferred upon him in 1954 as a tribute to his exceptional service to the nation. Sir C. V. Raman left an indelible mark in the field of physics through his discovery of the Raman effect, which shed light on the scattering of photons. 
This discovery not only earned him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1930, but also played a crucial role in the development of quantum physics. In acknowledgement of his scientific achievements, he was knighted in 1929 and later awarded the Bharat Ratna, acknowledging his outstanding contributions to the field of physics. Dr. Bhagwan Da stood out as an influential Indian thinker, philosopher, and a steadfast advocate for peace and human rights. His close association with Mahatma Gandhi underscored his significant role in the quest for Indian independence. For his extensive work in literature, education, and his commitment to social reforms, he was bestowed the Bharat Ratna in 1955, marking his enduring legacy in promoting understanding and harmony across diverse communities. Dr. M. Visveswaraya, celebrated for his innovative contributions to civil engineering and water resource management, was instrumental in the design and construction of the Krishna Raja Sagar Dam in Mysore. His work in irrigation and flood control earned him the Bharat Ratna in 1955. His birthday, September 15, is celebrated as Engineer's Day in India, honoring his significant contributions to engineering. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, independent India's first Prime Minister, was pivotal in shaping the country's constitution and laying the foundations of a secular, socialist and democratic ethos. His tenure was marked by a focus on industrialization, scientific progress and establishing a balanced economy. Nehru's efforts in founding educational and scientific research institutions have left a lasting impact on India's socio-economic fabric. Govind Bullabh Pant played a crucial role in India's struggle for freedom and emerged as a key political figure post-independence. As Uttar Pradesh's first chief minister, he embarked on significant agricultural and educational reforms and was instrumental in adopting Hindi as the state's official language. His contributions were recognized with the Bharat Ratna in 1957, celebrating his role in laying the groundwork for the state's advancement. Thondu Keshav Kirve was a trailblazer in the realm of women's education and empowerment in India. He established the SNDT Women's University in Mumbai, among other institutions. His relentless pursuit of educational reforms for women and widows earned him the Bharat Ratna in 1958, leaving a profound impact on Indian society and educational reforms. Dr. Bithan Chandaroy a revered physician and the second chief minister of West Bengal was instrumental in the development of India's medical education infrastructure. He was the force behind the establishment of premier medical institutions and was honored with the Bharat Ratna in 1961. His legacy is commemorated on July 1, observed as National Doctors' Day in India. Purushottam Dastandan was a prominent freedom fighter and politician, celebrated for his advocacy of Hindi as an official language and his dedication to the welfare of farmers and the marginalized. His efforts earned him the Bharat Ratna in 1961, cementing his legacy of fostering linguistic unity and social justice. Dr. Rajendra Prasad, the first president of India, played a significant role in the independence movement and in shaping the Indian constitution. His leadership qualities and dedication to the nation's principles were recognized with the Bharat Ratna in 1962, underscoring his foundational role in independent India. Dr. Sakir Hussain, a noted scholar and educationalist, served as India's third president and was a key figure in the establishment of Jamia Millia Islamia University. Awarded the Bharat Ratna in 1963, his tenure as president is remembered for his emphasis on education, democracy and national integration. Dr. Pandu Rangwaman Kane, an esteemed Indologist and Sanskrit scholar, was celebrated for his comprehensive work on history of Dharma Shastra. His rich contributions to Indian literature and philosophy earned him the Bharat Ratna in 1963, 
highlighting his influential study on ancient Indian lore and society. Lal Bahadur Shastri, India's second Prime Minister, is remembered for his role in promoting the white and green revolutions, which boosted India's milk and food grain production. His leadership during the 1965 Indo-Pakistan War showcased his commitment to national defense and unity, embodied in his slogan J Jawan Jai Kisan. Indira Gandhi, the first female Prime Minister of India, is known for her decisive involvement in the Green Revolution and the 1971 India-Pakistan War, which led to Bangladesh liberation. Her tenure significantly contributed to India's political, agricultural, and economic landscape. V.V. Giri, the fourth president of India, before his presidency was a prominent trade union leader who deeply influenced the Indian independence movement. His presidency emphasized industrial peace and improving labor relations earning him the Bharat Ratna in 1975 for his service to the nation and efforts in enhancing labour conditions. Kumara Swami Kamraj emerged as a significant figure in India's political landscape, notably within the Indian National Congress. His crucial contributions during India's fight for independence and the subsequent development phase of Tamil Nadu are widely acknowledged. Serving as the Mil Nadu's chief minister from 1954 to 1963, he introduced the pioneering Kamraj plan, focusing on enhancing educational facilities and eradicating illiteracy through accessible and mandatory education up until the 11th grade. His initiatives profoundly uplifted the educational framework and standards within the state, earning him the Manika Kingmaker due to his profound influence over Indian politics. Angela Gong's Herbojak Sahiu, globally known as Mother Teresa, embarked on her mission in 1950 with the founding of the Missionaries of Charity in Kolkata. Her life's purpose was to assist the impoverished, ailing, orphaned, and dying populations, particularly focusing on lepers in a city plagued by poverty. Her endeavors, driven by compassion, made a significant impact, for which she was honored with the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979. The Catholic Church canonized her as St. Teresa of Calcutta in 2016, acknowledging her dedicated philanthropy and the lasting imprint of her acts of kindness and humanity. Acharya Vinoba Bhave is celebrated for his spiritual leadership and social reforms, following in the philosophical footsteps of Mahatma Gandhi. He notably kick-started the Bhutan movement in 1951, persuading landowners to voluntarily distribute land to the landless, marking a novel approach to land reform and reducing social inequality in India. Bhabha's peaceful activism and push for human rights and social justice significantly contributed to the Indian Savodhiya movement, striving for the elevation of society as a whole. In recognition of his altruistic service and efforts towards human upliftment, he was granted the Bharat Ratna in 1983. Khan Abdul Gifar Khan, affectionately known as Frontier Gandhi, was a stalwart in the fight for India's freedom from British rule, employing a non-violent ethos. His leadership of the Khodari Khidmat Kar movement, which literally means servants of God, was instrumental in the independence movement, especially within the northwest frontier province, present-day Pakistan. His tireless dedication to peaceful protest and significant role in the struggle for freedom were acknowledged with the awarding of the Bharat Ratna in 1987, making him the first non-Indian to receive this honour. M.G. Ramchandran, affectionately known as MGR, transcended his film industry fame to make a significant impact in Tamil Nadu's political arena as the founder of the AIDMK and the state's chief minister for three terms from 1977 until his death in 1987. His tenure is notably remembered for various welfare schemes, such as the Mid-Day Meal Scheme aimed at enriching the nutritional and educational status of children. Posthumously, he was honoured with the Bharat Ratna in 1988 in recognition of his service to the people of Tamil Nadu 
and his significant imprint on the film industry. V. R. Ambedkar stands as a towering figure in Indian history, celebrated for his relentless fight against caste discrimination and advocacy for the rights of Dalits and marginalized communities. As the principal architect of the Indian constitution, Ambedkar's vision and strenuous efforts have had a lasting impact on the legal and social fabric of India, laying the groundwork for a more equitable society. He was posthumously awarded India's highest civilian honor, the Bharat Ratna, in 1990. Nelson Mandela's name is synonymous with the struggle against South Africa's apartheid system. Serving as the nation's first black president from 1994 to 1999, Mandela's efforts were pivotal in ending apartheid, leading to his Nobel Peace Prize accolade in 1993. This presidency heralded a new era centered on healing racial divides and rebuilding a nation marked by unity and justice. He was awarded Bharat Ratna in 1990. Rajiv Gandhi steered India towards the digital age during his tenure as Prime Minister from 1984 to 1989, initiating transformative policies that significantly bolstered the telecommunications and software industries. This vision for modernization and accessibility of technology had a profound effect on India's technological landscape and economic growth. He was posthumously awarded Bharat Ratna in 1991. Sardar Vallabhai Patel, the Iron Man of India, was instrumental in the country's independence struggle and played a key role in uniting over 500 princely states into the Indian Republic as the first Deputy Prime Minister and Home Minister. His decisive actions and strategic diplomacy forged a consolidated, sovereign India. He was posthumously awarded Bharat Ratna in 1991. Moraji Desai at the helm of the Janata Party government from 1977 to 1979, was the first to lead a non-Congress government in India. He is celebrated for advocating peace and governance reforms and made notable strides in improving India-Pakistan relations, earning him Pakistan's highest civilian award, the Nishani Pakistan. He was posthumously awarded Bharat Ratna in 1991. Maulana Abul Kalam Azad, a distinguished freedom fighter and scholar, as the first Minister of Education post-independence, was instrumental in shaping India's educational infrastructure. His tenure marks significant advancements in free compulsory education, scientific research, and the establishment of premier institutions, laying the foundation for India's educational advancement. He was posthumously awarded Bharat Ratna in 1992. Jahangir Ratnaji Tata Bhoye Tata or J.R.D. Tata was a pioneering industrialist who not only founded India's first commercial airline but also led the Tata Group to new heights in various sectors. His commitment to employee welfare and industrial development earned him the Bharat Ratna in 1992, signifying his substantial contributions to the nation's progress. Satyajit Ray an iconic filmmaker, garnered international acclaim for Indian cinema, particularly with his Apo trilogy. His storytelling and cinematic techniques brought him numerous accolades, including an honorary Oscar, cementing his status as a global cinema legend. He was posthumously awarded Bharat Ratna in 1992. Gulsari Lal Nanda played a stabilizing role in Indian politics, serving as the interim prime minister twice. His contributions to labor welfare and industrial policies have been significant, meriting the Bharat Ratna for his dedication to the nation's development. He was posthumously awarded Bharat Ratna in 1997. Aruna Safali was a pivotal figure in India's fight for independence, known for her bold act of flag hoisting during the Quit India movement. Her passionate involvement in the freedom struggle and subsequent social work earned her the Bharat Ratna posthumously in 1997. Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, 
known for his role in India's missile development and as a beloved president, inspired the nation with his focus on education and innovation. His dedication to public service and science was honored with the Bharat Ratna in 1997. M.S. Subbulakshmi, a Carnatic music maestro, touched hearts worldwide with her divine vocal talent, becoming the first musician to receive the Bharat Ratna. Her performances globally acted as cultural ambassadors of Indian classical music. She was awarded Bharat Ratna in 1998. Chidambaram Subramanyam played a pivotal role in India's Green Revolution as the agriculture minister that led to unprecedented growth in food green production, securing him the Bharat Ratna for his efforts towards ensuring national food security. He was posthumously awarded Bharat Ratna in 1998. J. Prakash Narayan, leading the call for democracy during the emergency through the Total Revolution movement, was a stalwart in Indian politics and social reform, commemorated with the Bharat Ratna in 1999 for his lifelong commitment to democracy and social justice. Professor Amartya Sen, a Nobel laureate in economic sciences, has significantly influenced global economic policies with his research on poverty, famine, and human development, marking him as a leading thinker in economics and social justice. He was awarded Bharat Ratna in 1999. Lok Priya Gopinath Bodolvi, a key figure in Assam's history, played a crucial role in integrating Assam into India post-partition, ensuring the region's cultural and social integrity, for which he was posthumously honoured with the Bharat Ratna in 1999. Pandit Ravi Shankar, a sitar maestro, brought Indian classical music to global audiences, influencing generations of musicians and music lovers alike with his performances and collaborations earning him the Bharat Ratna for his contributions to music. He was awarded Bharat Ratna in 1999. Ostad Bismillah Khan, a master of the Shenai classical Indian wind instrument, played a pivotal role in transforming its status from a mere ceremonial accessory to a globally recognized concert instrument. His performances during the moments of India achieving independence in 1947 and on the inaugural Republic Day in 1950 remain unforgettable. Khan's expertise and emotional depth in playing the Shenai won him worldwide acclaim and the Bharat Ratna in 2001, marking him as the first classical musician to be honoured so. Lata Mangeshka, the Nightingale of India, with her melodious voice, has been the soundtrack to Indian cinema for over 70 years, earning her the Bharat Ratna for her unparalleled contributions to Indian music and culture. She was awarded Bharat Ratna in 2001. A stalwart in the realm of Indian classical music, Pandit Bhim Sen Joshi is celebrated for his potent and emotive delivery within the Hindustani classical tradition. Renowned for his command over ragas and innovative improvisation, Jushi stood out as an influential voice of the Kirana Karana. His lifetime of musical accomplishments earned him the Bharat Ratna in 2009, highlighting his vital role in popularizing Hindustani classical music globally and setting a benchmark for future musicians. Professor C. N. R. Rao, a distinguished figure in chemistry, has notably advanced the field of solid state and materials chemistry. His groundbreaking work, focusing on the creation of new materials and uncovering their properties, has significantly influenced nanotechnology and materials science. Acknowledged globally for his contributions, Rao has been honored with the Bharat Ratna in 2014. Authoring over 1,600 research papers and 50 books, he stands among the leading scientists worldwide in his domain. Revered as the god of cricket, Sachin Tendulkar's name is synonymous with cricketing greatness, evident in his holding the records for the most runs in both tests and ODIs, and being the first to score a double century in an ODI. 
His illustrious 24-year career not only inspired millions but also contributed significantly to the global standing of Indian cricket. In recognition of his contributions to sports and his influence on and of the cricket field, Tendulkar was conferred with the Bharat Ratna in 2014, becoming its youngest recipient and the first athlete to receive the award. Atal Bihari Vajpayee, a statesman of high regard, led India as its Prime Minister for three terms. His leadership is remembered for its crucial role in Indian politics, his articulate speech and efforts to foster better relations with Pakistan, including the historic Lahore summit. Vajpayee's tenure saw significant economic reforms and infrastructural advancements like the Golden Quadrilateral. For his invaluable contributions to India's progress and democratic values, he was awarded the Bharat Ratna in 2015. An outstanding educator, freedom fighter and politician, Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya's legacy in the Indian independence movement and educational sector is profound. As the founder of Banaras Hindu University, who, he played a crucial role in promoting education and nationalism. His lifelong dedication was recognized with the posthumous Bharat Ratna in 2015, celebrating his lasting impact on shaping contemporary India. Nanaji Deshmukh, a prominent social activist and key member of the Bharatiya Janasangh, is honored for his extensive contributions to rural development, education, and health. Through the establishment of the Deen Dayal Research Institute, he implemented innovative development models in rural communities. Recognized for his unwavering commitment to societal welfare, Deshmukh was posthumously conferred with the Bharat Ratna in 2019. A legendary figure in Indian music and cinema, Dr. Bhupen Hassarika was known for his deep voice and compositions that fused Assamese folk with contemporary themes. His music, addressing themes of humanity and social justice, has deeply touched listeners. In honor of his contributions to India's cultural and social landscape, Hassar Rika was posthumously awarded the Bharat Ratna in 2019. Pranab Mukherjee, a respected figure in Indian politics, served as the 13th President of India. With a career spanning over five decades, he contributed significantly to the country's economic and foreign policies. Recognized for his profound understanding and service, Mukherjee was honored with the Bharat Ratna in 2019. Known as Jaren Nayak, people's leader, Kapuri Thakur, a distinguished politician and social reformer of Bihar, championed the cause of the underprivileged. His implementation of reservation policies marked a significant step towards social justice. His commitment to equality and social reform left a lasting impact, solidifying his legacy as a revered leader. A key figure in Indian politics, Lal Krishna Advani's role in shaping the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP, and promoting Hindu nationalism through the Ayodhya movement has left a profound impact. Serving as Deputy Prime Minister, his contributions to the party and national politics are significant. As the fifth Prime Minister of India, Chaudhary Charan Singh was a stalwart advocate for farmers and the rural poor. His tenure brought profound agrarian reforms, enhancing the livelihoods of those in the agricultural sector and marking him as a champion of India's peasants. B.V. Narasim Harao, the ninth Prime Minister, steered India through a decisive period of economic liberalization from 1991 to 1996. His leadership assured in pivotal economic reforms, opening India to global markets and setting the stage for future progress and modernization. Dr. M.S. Swaminathan, celebrated for spearheading India's Green Revolution, brought about a significant increase in food grain production through the introduction of high-yielding seed varieties and modern agricultural practices. His efforts have made India self-sufficient in food grains, enhancing the lives of millions of farmers. 
Bharat Ratna is not just about the individuals, but the story of India itself. Its diversity, challenges and triumphs. Each one has contributed significantly to the fabric of Indian society, be it through arts, science, sports or leadership. So, what do you think? Does the Bharat Ratna help in recognizing the true heroes of India? Or is there more that needs to be done to honor the heroes among us? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. Let's continue this journey together, exploring, learning and celebrating the spirits that have shaped our nation. Until next time, keep being curious, keep exploring. Remember, every hero has a story and every story has a lesson. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.